Installation of Rockstech G6x1. To install the Rockstech G 6x1 frame, you need sealing modules, the frame, a compression unit, stay plates, and the lubricant. Clean the inside surfaces of the frame. Feed the cables through the frame opening. Warm up the lubricant in your hand and lubricate the inside of the frame. Be sure to lubricate the corners. Adapt the modules to the right cable diameter by removing layers from each half. It is important that there is a 0.1 to 1 millimeter gap between the module halves when fitting the cable. Peel off each layer until the module fits perfectly. Lubricate all the modules thoroughly on both the inside and the outside faces. Insert the modules starting with the largest modules first. Place a stay plate on top of each finished row of modules and continue to fill the packing space with cables, modules, and stay plates. Before installing the final row of modules, it is necessary to insert the two remaining stay plates. Install the final row of modules between the stay plates. Finish the installation with a Rockstech wedge. Make sure the bolts are loose and be sure that the marked side of the wedge is facing the stay plate. Lubricate and insert the wedge. Tighten the bolts alternately until stop or to a maximum torque of 20 newton meters. The wedge will compress and seal the transit and the excess lubricant will be squeezed out. Reinstallation. It is easy to add a new cable. Turn the two screws counterclockwise until stop and then remove the wedge. Lift the upper stay plate and take out a spare module and feed the new cable through the frame. Adapt the module to the right cable diameter and make sure that there is a 0.1 to 1 millimeter gap. Lubricate thoroughly and then reinstall the module. Lubricate the Rockstech wedge and insert it into the frame. Tighten the bolts until stop. Rockstack G6x1 
cast into concrete. The Roxtec G-Frame can also be cast into concrete.